Hello everybody and welcome back to another video on my channel. Hopefully you can see me and hear me okay. Um, you're probably wondering why is my face so red? Why is my hair in a mess? And why is everything just gone wrong? So I recorded a video today um, because uh, Steve and Amy at the Nuclear Family on eBay have kindly sent me some more stuff. They wanted t uh, me to test the unit again, but with a new hose. So I um, put this hose into my FM12, which is here. And I will quickly show you um, before the video starts. So it screws in like that, but you can rip it out straight away. Um, so yeah, I mean, the, this mask, shit, okay? That mask is just horrendous. I'm really, really sorry, but the FM12 in that kind of format is just not usable with a hose. Now that is nothing against Steve and Amy because I bought the FM12, I didn't buy it from them. Um, I bought it from another eBay seller. Um, I cannot remember the name, but I think it was like One Stop Cop Shop or something like that. Now, they are good sellers. Um, it might not even been then. I'm not sure. I cannot remember. Um, but they listed this as a UK FM12. Now, this is in fact a Dutch FM12. It's still an Avon FM12, but... It is a Dutch version with a smaller filter hole. So sadly, the hose doesn't fit in. So what I've had to do is um, test this, which I almost died in. Um, but yes, I had to test this, which is the proper hose to go with these units. Now, yeah, I mean, this works, but it is very, very uncomfortable for your face. Um, it doesn't, I, I probably had the mask on wrong. And as you can see in there, it's one of them things that go around your neck. I hate things going around my neck. Um, so yes, I almost died. I look like a stormtrooper with this on. This video is kind of a mess. Um, I've deleted the entire first bit of the video so you will not see anything about my FM12 um, because this vi that video just failed and I got mad at it. Again, that's nothing to do with Steve and Amy. That's uh, the mask. It's shit. Uh, but yeah, let's get into the video. Sorry for taking so long. So what I can do instead of testing the FM12 is test this. This is a like the mask that usually comes with these units. Um, well, I think this is an adult hood actually, but this is basically the kind of like hood that comes with uh, the the units itself. So hopefully this is what is going to work. Now, sadly, it's one of them hoods that um, goes around your neck. I'm not comfortable with things going around your neck. I, I've never been I've never been a fan. I don't I I absolutely hate things going around my neck. Um, so yes. I'm not sure how this is going to work. Um, I'm not sure what I have to do. I'm not sure how I got to open it. Oh, it already looks. Oh, it already doesn't look good to me. I might have to skip on this, but we'll give it a go. Um, as long as I can get these straps out as much as possible. So I want to get. I want to open this hole as much as possible to get my neck in so that's what i'm dealing with now if i strangle and die <laughs> um yeah you're gonna see it on video now what i'm gonna do before i strangle and die is put the hose on if this hose is gonna screw in i'm not sure if this hose is gonna go in i might have to use the other hose no that hose is not gonna go in so hopefully this hose is going to go in, unless it doesn't, and then I'm deleting this video. We are going to try <laughs> put this mask on in a minute. First of all, I'm going to put this hose on because I want to be able to breathe. I I just don't, I don't think I'm going to fit in this. 
This is this is like a one size fit all fits all. Um, so we sh I should be able to fit in this. I think all adults can fit in this. Um, where was the instruction manual? That would probably help me. So you put the unit on. Um, put the unit on. Put it around your neck. Does it not tell you how to put that? That's a bit annoying. It doesn't show you how to put the hood on. Which is a bit annoying. Um, yeah, I think we're just going to have to try and risk it without trying to break anything. I'm not sure how well this is going to go. But from what I saw, you'd basically do this. If I can even get it off me. You basically put your hands in like that from the educational video that um, i seen. And then basically what you do is you tighten it up like that. Now you can probably see that the, um, well you might not even be able to hear me properly. Um, uh, I need to find a strap. There we go. So I've got like a tight kind of um, feel now. So as you can see when I breathe in, it expands. I do not like these rubber, these rubber outlet things. They are not good at all. I'm not sure if you can hear me. I might have to stand a little bit closer. It works. Um, I am honest. It does work. Um, I just don't like the feel of it. So I'm going to go have a look at my mirror. So what I'm going to do now is switch off this unit if I can find the button. I'm now probably going to suffocate and die. I can already feel the heat um, going up, which is not very good. So what we're going to do is I'm going to try the first USB kind of device that he sent me first. Uh, so we're going to put a push over in the half, shove the stick in, and then I'm going to try and find my battery bank, which is here. And then I'm going to do that. Turn it on. Oh, I can finally breathe properly. <laughs> So, is air leaking? Air is escaping the hood um, because this is very, very powerful. But I can finally breathe properly, which is the good thing. I'm not suffocating myself in carbon dioxide. Um, Now, if you have the modded version, use this hood, okay? The modded version completely destroys the unmodded version. Again, I will try the other USB, uh, the USB kind of device plugging thing in a minute. Um, what you can feel. Um, you can feel it really, really tight around your neck, but I think that's just me because I've obviously probably got it in wrong. And remember, this the nose cap thing is horrible. It does have a um, drinking tube somewhere. I think you turn it like that. There you go. The drinking tube just went in my mouth. Well, I didn't go in my mouth, but it touched my mouth. So we'll wash that in a minute. So we're going to turn that one off. Remember if I can find the switch. That is the downside of these. Where is the switch? The switch is probably the hardest thing to find. So if you're out in the field, um, yeah. I mean, the unit is good itself. Now we're going back to breathing in carbon dioxide and I'll probably suffocate in the next five minutes. So this is the 
unmodded kind of like touched USB kind of like thing. And this is meant to give me more airflow than the original, but less airflow. So I've got too much oxygen. So I'm going to try and plug that one in, which it goes in. Now, I think this is so much better for normal breathing. If you're like a normal breather like me, you know, you, you know, every few seconds you might in your nose, out your mouth, like kind of like that kind of thing. This is definitely the one you want to choose. If you like to breathe um, quite a lot, so if you're like like that kind of thing, then I definitely recommend um, going with the the modded USB, this one, because this one provides more airflow uh, than this one, but this one provides more airflow than the original one, like the unmodded one. Well, the mask is working, this mask is working. Um, I just do not, I just don't like it. Um, there's nothing really against it, other than I do not like things tight around my neck. And this is very, very, very tight. Uh, you can move it up and down, you can move it. But this is very, very, very tight around your neck. So I'm going to finish the video off in like this because I've got to take a thumbnail in a minute. But hopefully you have enjoyed this video. If you have enjoyed, remember to smash like and uh, subscribe if you're new. Thank you again, Steve and Amy and the nuclear family on eBay for sending me this kind of stuff. Remember, there will be a video on the NBC suit like down the line. So I know you've probably heard me chat shit in this video. Um, that is nothing towards the nuclear family, Steve and Amy. Nothing against these devices, it is strictly at my FM12. Now, will I recommend the FM12? I will recommend the FM12 because it's an excellent mask. But, if you want to use it with a hose system, um, either this kind of one or the green one that I showed, make sure your FM12 is a deeper hole. Remember, you need at least that kind of depth. Mine's like that. Um, my mask is basically rubbish to me now. Seeing as I want to try and I want to hook up a system like this. Um, I don't really want to have filters and stuff all over the place. Saying that, you probably could just put the filter on like this. I want to give that a try before we go. Um, let me just turn the unit off. Now, before, I know I just said we're going to be going, um, but I want to try just to filter on like this. Is that going to go in? I don't think it will because this bit, this bit uh, sticks out. What you could do is... Um, you don't want to, you want to use a filter on this mask, but you don't want to use that unit. What you can use is something like this. Let me try to get the filter on first. You can have it dangling like that. You can probably have it in a bag like that on the side. But this works. You can probably hear it if I put it to the microphone. You probably heard the loud noise, yeah, so this works. Um, but yeah, I mean, at the end of the day, the unit works. Uh, both of these units work. Um, if again you want more air, definitely go with the modded version, but with the better USB. Um, I'm not sure what USB he's going to try and send you. Uh, you might have to ask or something. I'm sure my face is completely destroyed now. But if you've enjoyed this video, 
Remember to smash like and I'll see you later.